Now, here's obviously where we went. Ooh, that's going to be useful for making friends. Good, good, good. Okay, and down. No, can't go that way. But one thing I did not realize at first is if you're playing this game, you can go down here. Which does not provide anything that we need at the moment, but there are going to be things we can get there. I do love the music. I, I was kind of playing this as I watched stuff. Kind of have a little bit of an ADD thing going on. Hi, townsfolk. Hello. I'm Patchworth. He runs the general store here. Have you met my daughter, Abigail? She's the pale one with the purple hair. You don't say. Purple hair, you say? Hmm. Okay, so this is... We'll have to keep an eye on birthdays. Alright. Hello. Oh, hello. Who are you? Oh, aren't you cute? You picked a good time to move here. The spring is lovely. Is it now? I have a present for you. Oh, you're welcome. Delightful. Hi, friend. Hey, it's Mr. Patchworth, the new farmer. I'm Pierre, the owner of the general store. If you're looking for seeds, my shop is the place to go. You also buy produce from your good for a good price. Really? What have you, my good man? <gasps> Bean starter. Plant these. Takes ten days to mature, but they produce after that. These are actually a good. These are a good plant to start off with because. Um. They'll, they'll continue to grow. In fact, I'll probably try to harvest more of those jazz seeds. Puffball flower. Yeah, I really didn't do a lot. I don't do much with the flowers. I don't really see a reason for it, honestly. Um. Alright, now I'm, I'm broke. And I can't even I can't even use those right now because oh and uh, you can actually go in here kind of like a little living space and the reason for that is going over here to this little temple thing which I oh it's um let's not do that altar of yoba I don't know what the altar of yoba does yet though. That's probably where you get married. And that's about all I know. Oh, the sounds. Oh, aren't you the one who just moved in? I'm Maru. I've been looking forward to meeting you. You know, a small town like this, a new face can really alter the community dynamic. It's exciting. She's a scientist. She likes the science stuff. Oh, shit. Oh, welcome to our little community, dear. You can call my granny if you like. I'm Granny Smith! Okay. So, you see, I've, I've switched to the scythe, because every time I use one of these tools, it's hurting my, um, my energy, but it, you can swing this to your heart's desire without using up any energy. So, that's a little pro tip for you right from the get-go. Oh, I can read it on your face. You're going to love it here in Pelican Town. If you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the saloon. That's where I work. And that is going to be a primary time to um, to socialize. Which I'm going to have to do more in this playthrough because I didn't really start doing any of that until oh, long after it became a... a something I could actually do here. Hold on. Uh, ah, the new farmer we've all been expecting, and whose arrival has sparked many conversation. I'm Elliot. I live on the little cabin by the beach. It's a pleasure to meet you. <sighs> Aren't you pleasurable? Yes. Okay. So. The best thing to do early game to earn money. Lewis! How was the first night of the old cottage? Your grandpa used to complain about the rickety old bed, but I think deep down he actually loved that house. Wah. But yeah, you can you can gather 
resources, either fruits and uh, mm -hmm. other types of... Oh, what's this? Hmm. Interesting. That's something we should try to get like fairly early on. There's some decent resources over there. But, um... Yeah, all of these things here that you can collect without using any energy... Oh, who are you? Hi. Aren't you shy? Did you want something? No, you uh, clearly are involved in a conversation. Don't need to interrupt you. Hmm. Hello, little lad. Who are you? Oh, stranger. My name's Vincent. Mama says no talk to strangers, but you seem okay. Thank you, sir. Oh, hello, darling. I have a present for you. All right, you're that new farmer boy, aren't you? Boy, I'm a man. Uh huh. Oh, I'm Haley. Oh, really? One more? Okay. Hmm. If it weren't for these horrendous clothes, you might actually be cute. Okay, looks like there's nobody I can talk to. Oh, here, here's a no, here's a person. Aren't you exactly how I imagined? But that's okay. I'm Jody. It's quite a little town, so I'm excited when somebody moves news in. New blah, blah, blah. Having a farmer around could really change things. You don't have a farmer. You're a farm town. Wasn't there a farm? Oh, hello. Hi. Hey, I'm Sam. Good to meet you. All right. Well, off to a good start with meeting new people. I mean, look at this. It's gorgeous. Here we go. I'm going to hold on to that. Hmm, okay. do 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 Picking flowers. Delightful. It used to be with like these sticks here in Harvest Moon, you could actually just pick them up. Same with grass. Not the case here. What is this? Oh my. Hmm. Oh boy. This is a hot mess. Mm. I was hoping to get a home through here, but... Jeez. Somebody just let their whole place go to shit. I'm gonna have a, a word with the, uh, the owner here. This is ridiculous. Seriously, how's a guy supposed to get home like this? This is... Just... Impossible to f forge. I feel like Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. Who the hell owns this piece of shit? Ah, damn it. Oh. I got a lot of land. Which is good. But... It is a, this is an intimidating, an intimidating prospect. What is, what is that? Uh, what is this? Whatever this once was, it's now in ruins. You know, I haven't gotten that farm in the, far in the game yet, but... Now that I'm looking at it with the wire frame here and the floor, this actually might be a greenhouse. And oh, Jesus. Hmm. All right. Well, it is getting super duper late, so I should probably go to bed before you want to go to bed at a decent hour. You're actually a, a farmer now, so Oh, it's dark in here. Hold on. There we go. Nice and cozy. Ah. Delightful. What's on the tube? 
And let's see here. The weather forecast for tomorrow. Going to rain all day tomorrow. Perfect. Let's put out a few more seeds. Oh, what's this? Hello there. Just got back from a fishing trip. You should come down to the beach sometime. I've got something to show you. Interesting. There we go. Oh, shoot. I totally forgot to drop off all my stuff here. Alright, so fiber is used as a resource. We can keep that. Okay. Mm-hmm. Now, you don't want to place these guys too close together, otherwise you won't be able to, to go through. See, the only reason I'm even doing this is because you can walk through these without hurting anything. But... If you you can't walk through these pole thingies here, so it's probably best, at least for now, to sort of leave those in rows. There's a kind of a reason for that. Um, I thought this game was a little bit more realistic about its irrigation and such, so it would require you to um, create like those long irrigation lines, and they may still actually do that, but I haven't seen it yet. But they do have sprinklers you can eventually construct. Leveling up stuff is what helps build up your crafting system here. Okay, still pretty early here. Let's... What was I doing? We got all the wood we needed for the... the thing here. Hmm... Alright, let's just keep clearing a little bit of this. Don't shoot. Okay. All right. I'm going to show you a kind of a thing here. Let's see here. Where's a good clearing of these guys here? Now, I'm going to try to avoid to ch uh, uh, from chopping down certain trees. All right, now that's these trees right here, with the uh, the nice fluffy leaves. I'm gonna try to avoid getting rid of those. Now the reason for that is that these trees actually um, they can be harvested with an item that you get later on. So you don't necessarily want to clear out things indiscriminately. Trees will eventually grow back. But the reason for those is those are actually maple trees, and you can actually produce maple syrup, which will actually sell for quite a bit. Yeah, the the only problem with with having played this game for as long as I did before starting this is I got an acorn. I sort of eliminated a lot of the wonder that comes from playing a game blind, but then again. Um, that's not necessarily a good thing. This way we can just sort of like get off to a, a rip roaring start here. Get ourselves a, uh, a nice farm. You know, because like in these kind of construction simulator games, I mean, it's not necessarily about fumbling around and looking like an idiot, which I'm sure will happen at some point, but, I mean, it's not like this is an action game. It's not going to lend itself too much to 
hijinks. It's just about <sighs> relaxing and creating a new life for yourself, you know?